of all, we need to understand why we need to do radio frequency. You might have done already. We have done a majority things is a like UI. All the unloading tasks, we have done it all, put away tasks, everything we have done in a UI. Okay. So once you are confident now, assume that you have done it comfortably inbound activities. Okay. Just unloading and uh, uh, doing all the deconsolidation, moving HUs, and uh, then moving to the VAS, and then you perform that. Okay. How I'm going to use that? these activities, whatever you have done in a QI, how I'm going to use RF gun. Why RF gun? As I said, in a real time, all the operations works is done by using RF gun. Okay. So sometimes people use the free applications. Free application may not help for them just, you know, they do in the, uh, in the desktop environment. But as I said, in real time, so RF clerks we use all the time is the RF gun. So only they will just scan the HUs. So then RF gun, it reads the, some barcodes. So the barcode, as I said, yeah. And Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. 128 European standard. It reads any barcodes. Okay. It reads the product labels. It reads even H2 uh, labels. Okay. So, and also these devices, uh, it may vary for that. And also dynamic size also, it may vary. And it's so like, you know, when you develop a website, the website, if you log in into any device, if whether it is a mobile, whether it is in a desktop or the PC or laptop, you know, it's a depends on that. Whichever device it's device, as soon as a login, you know, the website will be dynamic. It fits any environment, any, any device. Okay. Similarly, when you design this one, we need to see that, okay, in the warehouse while implementing, you need to see that what kind of devices they use it. Okay. What is the size of the screen sizes? Okay. Whether are they going to use uh, just RF clock or like in you know, a forklift guy, they may use some kind of tabs there. So if they're using a tabs, okay, how it looks like screen sizes. Okay. So it's a standard is eight by 40 is a standard. So it's, but always like you can always change. Only thing is you need to, Identify the different uh, sizes, uh, different uh, resources. Okay. Okay. I have, we are going to use RF gun. We are going using a uh, forklift guy, different device. And also like that, you know, you need to name it. Once you know that, okay, three, four uh, devices they are using, then once you understand the sizes, okay, standard is four by eight. If it is a forklift guy, if you want to display this, same uh, uh, RF environment in the device, then what is the size? Okay. So as I said, like RF gun, we use all the activities. We use the unloading activities and we use, uh, meaning in terms of like, you know, if you say strictly speak in the very bigger and bigger, bigger way, we do all inbound activities. We do all outbound activities. We do uh, even internal activities. What do you mean in uh, inbound activities? Inbound, whatever we have done is like, you know, unloading warehouse tasks and then moving the HUs from one location to other location. Then being a deconsolidation. Okay. And also VAS may not be there. VAS is, a, is may not be there. VAS, as I said, it will be done by through the desktop environment. Unless otherwise, if they did, then we go for the announcement. Okay. But deconsolidation we can do here. Okay. And um, for the... Internal one, as I said, internal, what are the things we discussed last time? We discussed internal when moving a HU one bin to other bin. We can use RF gun to move one, one, one within the same storage type, one bin location to other bin location. Or one, one any no matter in that, from, for example, moving a HU from uh, uh, maybe staging area to deconsolidation. Or like, you know, moving a HU, uh, just in, in hard basis, we do that. Okay. And also we may do physical inventory tasks. Okay. All physical inventory we can perform using RF guns. Like, you know, we can create a physical document, counting, posting, we can do that. Okay. So an outbound task, we can do what is outbound. We know you typically do picking, packing, staging, and so on. So all activities can be performed. Okay. So as I said, we have not done transportation in it because uh, that is the next topic. Okay, after a radio frequency fair and the next is a resource, then we go for the transportation in it. Usually what we do, we create a transportation unit, assign the inbound deliveries, 
then we we unload through the either transportation in it or the door that's a typical uh, uh, using this uh, rf gun we scan the door so because warehouse clerk may not aware of much uh, tu numbers so they scan the first the door the base on the door system will dive for them okay so this is a, a brief introduction about radio frequency okay so you need to understand that uh, why radio frequency users now you know the purpose okay and Okay, typically how you are going to connect, that's where you get a question mark. Okay, as you know that um, uh, earlier, uh, uh, earlier means like ECC and all, but EWM is, uh, S4 is a different, but RF devices uh, are external devices, okay? They're so connected with a EWM application through the middleware, okay? Either SAP console or ITS mobile. That is a, uh, we used to use earlier, but now we don't need to use that, okay? We use a web service applications to connect uh, your EWM system to the RF gun using the web service. So once we make a radio frequency framework, everything, and uh, as I said, it can be available all the fields, inbound activities fields and outbound activities fields, and also internal activities fields, physical and winter also. So are we going to enable for the resource for all the views to look into that? Or we may say that, okay, there are dedicated resources they use for the inbound, only inbound we assign, only outbound, only well assigned outbound or internal. So like that, okay, we can control that. Uh, even the uh, menus also, we can control that. Okay. And, okay. But now, as I said, we are we are not going to use uh, uh, to connect your uh, EWM system to RF gun, uh, SAP console or ITS mobile. We use a web services where you, once you make it, you need to contact with your uh, technical guy, about technical guys. Okay, so ABAP technical guy will they create a, a service? Is a service like you know web application? Okay, it's a typically web web based service application. Okay, so they 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 create a, a, a like web application thing, so linking with the your radio frequency framework, and uh, that's it. Is a typical as a, if you log in any website, you know the URL will be there. So that's where we test for that. Okay. Typically, I will go and I will come back in a reverse engineering way rather than going, okay? So once we discuss, once we familiarize this one, okay? I will log into SAP. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP video. This screen now. Okay. As I said, we have to use maintain some uh, uh, Okay, some kind of uh, uh, background create the resource and all. Okay, first of all, if I, if I want to log in RF environment, okay, the transaction we use, even if we, if we don't want to remember, you can go for logistics. Okay, under the EWM environment, okay, this is the easy access. Go to EWM under the execution. Okay, you can use the, this is the log in the RF environment. We are a few, okay. and also like you know, some master data is requirement is there. So um, maintain uh, devices, presentation devices, uh, personalized profile, okay. Uh, how it looks like, screen sizes, all the things, okay. Maintain representation device. Just we'll go through a few things, okay. And first we'll log in. And if I want login, then you should maintain some more master data. Systems and resource management. Okay. Yeah. This is the login. 